Hi, this is Congressman Andy Kim on April 29th. Just a couple of things I wanted to run through today. Uh, I did a call earlier today with uh, with the mayors and a lot of the county, uh, the township administrators here in Burlington County, uh, as well as with the Burlington County Health Department with Herb Conway and others. So just uh, this is a standing call that they, they do. I joined on today to just run through a couple of things. I uh, talked a lot about just what we're trying to do with the implementation of the CARES Act. So many people in Burlington County, Ocean County struggling with unemployment insurance, not getting that as quickly as we need. Uh, with the small business help, a lot of questions about how they can access these different programs of relief and uh, some of the, the problems that we've seen with the implementation of this. So I ran through the, a lot of those with the, with the mayors, uh, took their questions. It was a good conversation um, and we're going to be continuing that. Um, they've been doing some similar work like that on the Ocean County side and staying up with a lot of the mayors there too. So I'll continue to check in with uh, our, our townships uh, across this district. Just trying to make sure that they have enough personal protective equipment, uh, that they are getting the testing, uh, trying to get more testing available to all of us. Uh, we were running through some of the problems that we've been having with uh, long-term care facilities, nursing homes and others, as this is just about uh, a, a massive crisis that we're undertaking uh, right now. And we just gotta get more people tested there, uh, more treatment available to those that are positive. So we'll stay at that. Uh, the other thing I just wanted to flag is that uh, this afternoon I was named to the select committee uh, overseeing the coronavirus crisis. So this is a, a small committee of 12 members of Congress uh, that uh, are, are appointed to this to, to oversee the, uh, the, both the financial and the health crisis that's out there, the implementation of the CARES Act and, and trillions of dollars of, of American resources. Uh, this is something that uh, I really take on uh, as uh, saying that we need to put partisanship aside, make sure we're implementing these programs. These are trillions of dollars of American p uh, taxpayer money, uh, resources uh, that is uh, entrusted in us to, to, to spend wisely to help support small businesses, to help provide many of you with direct payments. Uh, we need to make sure this implementation is, is right, uh, that we, we weed out corruption and, and problems, that we fix the problems that we've seen already with uh, the implementation and make sure that going forward that we are taking the steps that we need to to make sure we keep you and your family safe. Uh, so more testing, uh, a strong effort on how to safely and responsibly reopen our economy, get people back to work in a safe way, pr do our best to, to prepare for uh, and mitigate a second wave of infections. Um, these are the types of things that uh, we'll be taking on board with this select committee. So uh, this will be a big task. Um, I, uh, I'm going to be doing my best to to do this and, and be able to help our communities here in Burlington and Ocean. So I'll keep you posted as that moves forward, uh, but you'll be seeing that uh, around uh, in press ports and other things. So I just want to make sure you heard it from me in terms of you know the scope of the work that we're trying to do. So again, uh, just grateful for uh, all of you uh, checking in, uh, for passing along any of your questions, and we'll continue to get back to you going forward. Okay, thanks a lot and stay safe and healthy. Take care.